Hello and welcome to this Black Talk Radio News Commentary. My name, of course, is Scotty Reed. Now, it's not often that I play my veterans card, um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull my veteran card out. Matter of fact, because, you know, people be faking the funk. And I very rarely pull out the veteran card, you know, unless I'm going to the VA hospital to get some health care. So where is my VA car? So here's my V here's my VA car right there. Y'all can see. That's my VA card right there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my VA card in response to this image that was shared with me. And um y'all, you know, keep sending me those articles, keep sending me those photos. But yeah, this was sent to me now. To be honest with you, I don't know if this has been photoshopped. It doesn't appear to be Photoshop, but there's no way that I can tell or do I want to invest the time into seeing if this is a Photoshop image or if some city worker, construction worker, whoever program uh, this street, you know, construction sign, warning sign that says is it, for those that's just listening to the audio and not watching the video there is a street sign you know they had those digital signs and they could put any message they want they could put slow down traffic ahead or construction ahead whatever they want to put on there well this one says f george floyd veterans lives matter now today is memorial day and even as a veteran i don't really celebrate memorial day um and in terms of this person talking about veteran lives matter no, they don't matter. Nobody lives matter in the United States of America. Corporate lives matter. All right. Corporate profits matter. Don't know human lives matter. Um, profit before humans is is the mantra of this country's economic system. OK, so you got veterans making up a significant portion of the homeless uh, mental need mental health treatment. This is mental health awareness. You know, it's a lot of veterans. As a matter of fact, a few years ago, the article's on BlackTalkRadioNetwork.com. I wrote how there is a million vets in jails and prison. That's half. That's half of the estimated population of prisoners, whether jail or prison, at any given time, at any given year. You know, it's estimated to be over, you know, 2,000. But at least half of those are U.S. veterans. U.S. veterans. I see a lot of veterans, uh, stories about veterans getting killed by police, getting shot by police, getting murdered by police. So I don't know. You know, this person that shared it with me said they suspect they got some white supremacists in their timeline. So, again, I don't know if this is Photoshop, but even if it is Photoshop, the sentiment from an individual is the same. And, and I'm sure it's people who are in support of this, this image and this message. But make no mistake, veterans' lives don't matter. If veteran lives matter, then veterans like myself wouldn't have all the problems uh, that we have. Not complaining about me personally, but for my fellow veterans that find themselves in prison slavery, uh, that find themselves in poverty, that find themselves homeless, that find themselves suffering from PTSD. And then this latest ailment from the Gulf War because of those burn pits where they're having respiratory problems. You know, John Stewart, the comedian, has been a big advocate for the, that group of veterans. So this stuff, this is just hate. That's all it is. This is hate. Whether it's a white person or a black person, you know, I'm sure Candace Owens would be in support of this. Who knows? She might have tweeted it already. You know, pe black people like that, you know. So, so, but the sentiment is just very, very disgusting. And it just goes to show you, you know, how ignorant it is. When I got out the military after the Gulf War, you know, I was saying to myself, they talk about the troops be is there to support their freedom. To, to protect their liberties and their freedoms. And I asked a bunch of hogwash propaganda. When I was in the Gulf War, um, kicking Saddam Hussein out of Kuwait, a dispute that didn't have nothing to do with us, 
And it was a legitimate case, you know, that Iraq was presenting surrounding the um, taking of some of their territory and creating Kuwait. But, you know, I'm not going to get into the intricacies of, of global politics, but we weren't there to secure no freedom and liberty for anyone. But the Kuwaitis, and, and it was really wasn't even for them, it was to liberate the oil so that corporations can have free access to it. So there you go. Just very, very disgusting people. It's a very disgusting world we live in. So be sure to like, subscribe, share if you like the content. Please support the nonprofit Black Talk Media Project. Um, make a donation to the tax deductible donations because we surely are not you know, making any money to sustain operations from these various platforms. Thank you. Be safe.